Okay, so we want to do a little demonstration of what to do when you're entering an Uber in Nigeria. We're going to be showing you where and where not to sit and what and what not to do inside the Uber. Let me go show you guys downstairs. So Richard is going to be our prop driver. The ride, just go here. Let me show you what can happen if you do this. So now I'm the driver. Can I start your ride, sir? You are sitting in front, so you have to use the seat belt. Thank you. This is my passenger. This is already a restriction. I have a surprise. So do you know how easy it is for me to attack him like this? Because he doesn't know what's going on. As I'm driving, I can go. The next thing, I can still hold him down. Because immediately I give him this, he's going down. Then you can hold him there and start punching his head. You can do many things to him to destabilize him. Then I can drive him to anywhere I want to go to. Even if I don't do that, if I show him my knife, I can hold a knife on him or do many things. He won't move. You see this problem already? Then I have a knife on him. I can still focus on the road and hold him hostage. So that is why we say do not sit in front. So this is the best seat in a house. The reason why I wouldn't recommend this part, but if you have two passengers, okay, it's fine. One person can sit here, one is sitting here. But if you sit here, the problem is you can't really see where you are going clearly. So you see? But if I'm here, I see what the driver is doing. I see everything clearly. That is why I advise to not sit in front, sit here where you can see the road and you can see the driver but the driver cannot do anything to you for this guy to turn back and want to attack me he's gonna miss the road so he can't even do anything because from here i can be the, i'm the attacker here but the best seat in the house is here yes the driver can still turn back and want to do anything but so it's easy for me to defend myself from here. So no matter what, I still have your upper hand here. If he has a knife, you can't be driving and be stretching your hand backwards like this. You will miss the road. Let's say I'm carrying a pepper spray or a taser. I can easily defend myself if the driver is trying to attack me. Defense, not attack. Red flags to note. If it doesn't roll down, yellow.